Hello everyone! It's time to make some more flying machines, and I have two experiments for you to try today. One is an airfoil, and the other is to make your own flying device. So, uh, the airfoil is going to show you how differences in air pressure create lift, and the flying device is just something fun for you to make, and also for you to test out different designs to see what works best. So, let's start with the airfoil. To make the airfoil, you're going to need a piece of paper. And what I want you to do is take it like this and fold it in half. And fold it in half again. Now you have folded the paper into quarters or fourths. Now I want you to take some scissors and cut one of those fourths off. Now, I happen to be an expert at cutting, so I'm not going to use scissors. I'm just going to tear it right down the middle, like this. Now I have my strip. I'm going to take the strip and fold it in half again. After that, I'm going to take some tape. And I'm not going to tape it like this. I'm going to give maybe a centimeter of space on the top so that my piece of paper looks more like a wing. And I'm going to take that and tape it. A wing. And this is called an airfoil. Finally, I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm just going to stick the pencil through here. Now, what are you going to do with that, you might ask? Well, there, the idea of an airfoil is that there are differences in terms of the pressure above and below the wing due to the fact that it uh, is curved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to another room, and I'm going to blow over top of it, and you're going to see what happens. Let's go! What I'm going to do now is blow right over top of the piece of paper, like I did with the other piece of paper the last time we had an experiment. And what you're going to see is that the paper is going to go up in one direction only. As you can see, the airfoil always goes towards the curved side when the air flows over it. And that's going to be the case even if I reverse the direction. Or if I put it on this side and blow over top of it. The lift is in the direction of the curved part of the airfoil. Now why is that? Well, what it seems to be is that the air is going down towards the airfoil. Some of the air goes and hits the curve and goes in that direction. It goes down, hits the curve, and goes in that direction. When it does that, it creates a low pressure system over here. And when there's low pressure, the paper wants to move towards it. And so that's how an airfoil works. It creates lower pressure at the top, causing lift in that side. The next experiment we're going to try is making a hoop flyer. And what are you going to need for that? Well, you're going to need some tape. You're going to need a ruler for measuring. You're going to need a straw. Don't get a bendy straw, get one that's completely straight. If it is bendy, you can just cut off the bendy part. Uh, and finally, uh, two slips of paper, two strips of paper. And I have uh, measured these ahead of time. Our first one is 24 centimeters long and 2 centimeters wide. And the other one is 17 centimeters long and 1.5 centimeters wide. And I measured that using my ruler. The next thing that you're going to need to do is attach the strips of paper to each other and to the straw. So I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to turn these pieces of paper into hoops, as best as I can. Two hoops. 
Okay, now that I've got my hoops ready, and you can see that one hoop is larger than the other hoop, I'm going to take my straw, and I'm going to attach some tape to the straw. And the key for this is that when you're attaching the tape to the straw, you want to make sure that the tape goes all the way around, and also that it's totally perpendicular to the straw. So I've got my two pieces of tape, and again the important part is to take the tape and pinch it all the way around to the other side. I'll do that on the other one too. Pinch the tape all, but don't let the tape touch. Don't let the tape touch each other. If you do, it's not too hard to pull apart. Oh, oh, it touched each other, but that's okay. I can pull it off fairly easily. And this will probably happen to you too. Anyways, once you've got your tape looped around to the other side, you want to take one of your loops and stick it on top. So that it's taped to the straw. Then you want to unstick this other piece of tape. Oh, it's stickier than I thought. Take the other loop and try and make it line up exactly with the other one. Now, nothing's perfect, but you try your best. Now we have a piece of straw with two hoops, one smaller, one larger, and both of them lined up. Now, uh, I'm going to try testing this in the hallway, but it's just uh, uh, occurred to me that the hallway is white, the straw is white, and the paper is white. So I'm going to take some marker and color it slightly black before I test this out so that you can see the results better. And I'll see you in my testing area. Did you notice how I tried that out multiple times? That's not just because I was working hard at getting better at it, it's also because that's what scientists do when they're testing something out. They don't just test it out once, because whatever happens might not happen the next time, and the next time, and the next time. So scientists will test something out multiple times to try and figure out what the result is most of the time. And you should too. So, what do I want you to do now? Well, I want you to try out both of those experiments. I want you to try making the airfoil and blow over top of it. And I also want you to make the hoop flyer. And with the hoop flyer, you can experiment with different shapes and different sizes. Well, not different shapes. You can experiment with different sizes and thicknesses of paper, see if moving them closer together affects the flight, see if moving them further apart affects the flight. Make different changes and record your observations. Um, make sure, however, that you always throw it with the a uh, smaller hoop in front and the larger hoop in the back. That will be the best for making it fly. I also want you to record your observations from the airfoil. Um, does it make a difference if you make changes in that? You can do your recording of your observations either on paper or on video and upload it to the Google Classroom section of this assignment. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of things you discover. Happy flying!